Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel Physics Sergi and this is Pathfinder Solution Series. Uh, we are going to take up a problem from the Pathfinder textbook of Momentum and Impulse Chapter 4 and this is check your understanding problem number 1. Actually this is a follow up uh, practice problem to the result 10 video that I have already done uh, on the coefficient of restitution of a thread. Okay, So for those who have already seen this they actually were expecting this problem to be coming. So for those who are uninitiated this is the statement of the problem that I have already shared. So just in case you are watching this for the first time, try to give a pause to this video, read through the question, give it a fair attempt of maybe three to four minutes and then please do come back and see the solution for the problem I'm going to provide along with the concept that is involved. Okay, so the a small disk A placed on the frictionless tabletop is connected to a small protrusion B on the tabletop with the help of an almost inextensible elastic cord of length L. There is a trap C in the table at a distance of L by 2 from the protrusion. Initially, the disc at the protrusion and the trap are in line ABC and the cord is straight and relaxed as shown in the top view of the setup. At what angle with the line AC must the disc be projected along the tabletop so that it enters the trap? Diameter of the protrusion is negligible as compared to the length of the thread. Okay, so it's just talking about <coughs> ABC being three points, uh, thread is tied to point B, and at other end, there is a small disc which is to be projected in this particular direction. Once you do that, as it moves, initially the thread will remain slack. Okay, so there is a hole, it's like a carom board thing. This is like a coin, it has to go and in its subsequent motion, somehow come and fall into this hole. So that is the condition required, and he wants the angle theta. So I'm going ahead with the solution in case you want to have a chance at the question, please do pause now itself. Okay, so the thing is that you need to identify some important wordings in this particular question that is almost inextensible but elastic cord. This is slightly different from your elastic cord in general. Whenever elastic cord is mentioned, we talk about its spring constant, right? K. So in this particular problem, the value of K actually tends to infinity. Okay, right. So, but E value tends to one. This is the slightly different thing from usual stuff that we do in our JE advanced syllabus. Okay, so in order to know the concept and if you are new, please make sure you go back to the resolve 10 video that I've already put up and where I discussed what is meant by the coefficient of restitution of a thread through another pathfinder solved problem and the link of that particular thing for if you are new is in the description below. So please do go back watch that video and come back because I'm going to take the concept forward from that video. Okay, so after defining the coefficient of restitution of the thread, which was a one dimensional problem. Now I'll take up an analogy of a ball hitting a wall in a two dimensional manner. Okay, so you could see that a ball which is having a speed u in the direction like this, which makes an angle theta with the normal of that particular wall, which is smooth in this uh, problem. And we all know if coefficient of restitution for this collision is defined as one, then we know that the component of velocity parallel to the wall is unchanged and coefficient, uh, the component of velocity, which is along that impulsive force would get reversed. So this is the idea where we get E is equal to one from, okay? So about impulse, that is an integral NDT, about impulse, the velocity vector reflects. The after effect of this E equal to one is that visually you can clearly understand that angle of incidence would become equal to angle of reflection. Right? That means you can think of N as a normal vector and this gets exactly reflected. I would take this forward to a problem of a thread having e equal to one. So imagine I have a fixed position where the thread is connected and all of this is on a horizontal table top. Okay, so there's no gravity, nothing. You're looking onto a table top, top view. So if I have a ball at the other end, which is connected to this thread, almost inextensible but elastic thread, and you project it in this direction, then as it moves towards right, the thread becomes lengthier and lengthier. And at one instant, it becomes taut. At this instant, the impulsive tension force, can you, can you see, is directed this way. And the ball's initial velocity vector, which is in this direction, makes an angle theta with that impulse, just like in the previous case, like normal. Then I can argue, using the same logics, that if E is 1, then the component of velocity 
perpendicular to the thread would remain constant and component of velocity along the thread will get reversed, which is as good as saying that the uh, velocity will get reflected right with the angle of incidence equal to angle of reflection can you see i mark the theta so this if this is u then this will become u making same angle theta with this particular thread which is a nice uh, uh, um, concept to uh, remember okay so as the ball now starts moving this way with the same speed u or at some position you could see the thread again becomes slack as it moves okay again it might become taut at some other position so the analogy that ap applied to normal reaction will also apply the, to the tension of a elastic thread remember if this was perfectly inelastic thread i can't reflect it like this okay so now taking this forward to our challenge where you could see a b c as mentioned in the problem and this is the thread this is the ball or the disc whereas b is the fixed point you should understand so if i were to project it in this direction as it moves the ball moves in this direction the thread becomes slack and by the time it moves to, to this position where if this is l then this is l then that is the position where the tension becomes impulsive so if this is the velocity vector making an angle theta with the tension then after the reflection as we spoke of in e equal to one case the velocity vector should come on to this side with the same angle theta then this velocity vector should be directed towards this c because once this comes in this direction the thread again loses its tension and it will be just a uniform motion so my angle theta should be such that this vector after reflecting should be directed towards this whole c now that triangles are set up if this is theta this should be theta because this is an isosceles triangle and this is also theta because this should be the angular bisector and these two thetas give you an exterior angle of two theta here and a nice pbc triangle is set up with two theta and theta as its angles so with this given as l by 2 and this as l i will use sine rule in that pbc triangle can you see l divided by sine of this angle which would be nothing but pi minus 3 theta which is sin 3 theta and l by 2 divided by sin theta here rearrange use sin 3 theta formula cancel sin theta because theta is not 0 degrees theta equal 0 degrees is trivial you throw it like this yes it will go in but it will hit this point so i'm looking at non zero theta values okay so this would be the relation and theta comes out to be 30 degrees actually this is the answer given in the book you may relate to another answer where you throw it at 120 degrees in this direction the ball actually gets reflected in this direction and again it will try to go into this ball but i am looking at only acute angled answer and therefore you will end up getting this in this case of extend in inextensible but elastic thread there won't be any loss in kinetic energy ball whenever it gets taut it gets rebounded with the same speed uh, by using the law of reflection so that is the logic that you should find it very interesting okay right so if you have liked this particular video you want to check through other pathfinder solutions the series has been made into a playlist and playlist is in the description below so please do go through them in case you have not yet done okay and other uh, series that are running parallelly in this uh, channel olympiad workout series aits select series one of the favorites among the students of this channel and also the resolved series where we resolve the doubts and this was actually part of the resolved series where we did a practice problem so i think we have done already 10 resolved series so in case you are new 10 videos i think it should take more than uh, one hour two hours of your time but it will be worth your time the kind of doubts that are resolved in that particular series you will not find them usually in the textbook so it's a worth a go so please make sure you go through them and in case you like uh, the video please do give it a thumbs up and try to share this content as much as possible and please do subscribe to my channel more content as is on your way and i hope you will stay with me when i do bring my next video thank you very much and see you in the next one